Hello everyone, my name is Rita, and this story is from my childhood if you can say so. But now I'm 14 years old, and it happened at 6-7. Enough about myself, I will finally start the story itself. It was my uncle's birthday. But the 28th birthday was supposed to be celebrated with a bang in some expensive restaurant in the center of London. But as his wife was a little sick, they came to our place the next evening, and we went to a restaurant nearby. As I remember now, his name was Oscar. I don't know why my parents liked this particular restaurant, because we had many other restaurants. But so here it is. After an hour, I became very bored, because music was playing in the hall. I left the table of adults and started dancing. I was small, what can I do? I don't remember exactly how it all happened. I seem to remember everything in a fog. A boy about my age came up and I started dancing with him. And after that, I can't remember anything at all during the entire past time. I only remember how I'm standing in my gray and pink dress, that boy is holding my hand, and everyone in the hall is clapping at us, even my relatives. I remember how I smiled, and how the boy asked me, Do you want me to introduce you to my parents? To which I agreed without thinking. After a couple of steps, I found myself in the second, smaller hall. There was a large table, and many people were sitting behind it a man of twenty, maybe thirty. But the boy led me to a certain man. A turning, I saw the first hall, but not the whole. I did not see a table of relatives and did not hear much. Good afternoon, Margarita a sharp, monotonous and slightly rude voice pulled me out of my thoughts, and I looked at the one who was talking to me. But the face of an old man appeared before me. Uh, no, it was not an old man with an axe, a knife, an ugly face, etc. No, an ordinary man of seventy years old, worn out by life, but in an elegant suit. Before I could answer, the boy said that it was his father, and he was very happy to meet me. According to the rules of etiquette, we started talking quite nicely, until I heard the screams of my relatives. At first, I did not understand what they needed and did not even turn around. But then, hearing the voice of my uncle, who never shouted, I turned around. Something was wrong. Without immediately realizing it, I stood by the handle with this small goat for another two minutes. And then I realized that the passage to the first hall seemed to be narrowing or something. I still can't understand how. But I ran out of the second hall to my parents, who were no longer screaming. Hugging my mother, I turned around again. Only there I saw not a good boy and his father, but an old, wrinkled old man. And the boy was not there at all. All night long, while my parents were having fun, I did not get up from the sofa, after I was reprimanded for disobedience. But to this day, this story remains a mystery to me. You can say it was a dream. But no, I still live in this town and I know that the restaurant was demolished more than a year ago and a new pizzeria was put in its place. And recently I heard from a friend that it was demolished due to the disappearance of three children at once who were not tracked by their parents. Again, it was in the evening. But the parents claim that the children were playing in the first hall on the carpet and suddenly disappeared. But to this day, no one knows where they went and the children are still missing. I think what you want, but it all scares me a little.